judge you upon you know what kind of character you are they judge you by materialistic means what car that you drive you know where you live how good looking you are I mean Allah created man man didn't choose you know a guy has a big car and all of a sudden he has friends that he never knew about I mean what, what does that say about human beings what you're ready to suck up to a person because of a piece of metal? I mean, is this what Muslims have come down to? There was a time where people were judged upon their character. But today we judge people, you know, by the clothes that they wear. By the clothes that they wear. I mean, Prada watch. Sorry, Prada shoes, isn't it? See, Alhamdulillah, I don't know much of these. You know, I mean, I, I, as you can see, I don't really deal with all those kind of things. If you want to judge people by their looks or by the clothes that they wear, then let me tell you, when the Prophet ﷺ left this dunya, he had patches upon his clothes, 11 patches. When Abu Bakr anhu left this dunya, he had 14 patches upon his clothes. When Umar ibn Abdul Aziz passed away, who was Umar ibn Abdul Aziz? Umar ibn Abdul Aziz was the most powerful man on the face of this earth. From the narration mentioned that his caliphate spanned from China to Spain, from the Caucasus to the depths of Africa. And when he was passing away, you know, he had these old clothes on. And somebody said to his wife, said, change his clothes. And she remained quiet. And then he said again, look, he's dying, change his clothes. And she remained quiet. And upon the third occasion, he said it angrily. And the wife turned to him and she said, I swear by Allah that these are the only clothes that he has. These are the only clothes that he has. But history remembers. History remembers Umar ibn Abdul Aziz because of the khair that he left behind because of the khidmah that he did for humanity and this is why history remembers him